Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's February 24, 2023, and we are in the Old Testament, and we're in the book of Genesis, and we're going to read chapter 50, verse 1 to 14, just a short little section this afternoon. Uh, Jacob has died. Uh, his sons are around him mourning him. We're going to see Joseph really mourning him, and they want to bury him. And, and something to get out of this as we read this, section it is is contrasted to what's going to happen in exodus when we get to that in, in about 400 and some years when they're trying to leave Ro leave egypt there and pharaoh gives them all kind of grief and refuses to let them go here we are at the very beginning of the story oh jacob's done oh your 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 grandfather's dead well please take everything you want and go out and go bury him that's that's cool you need some help i'll help you so that's one of the very important lessons the israelis are learning here in this Egyptian bondage. Hey, you know what? That that king that welcomed you might have had your best interests in mind, but you know what? That king's going to die. He's going to have a successor. Who's going to have a successor? Who's going to have? And, and, and they're not going to treat you like that guy did. You're always at the whim of them. Whereas being under God, God's unchanging. He, he's the same today, yesterday, and tomorrow. So that's who we need to be aligned with. That's who we owe our allegiance to. So that's one of the big, broad things that we're going to see here. So. Like I said, we're going to read this and just kind of look at how they go out and come back and, and how that's going to contrast with the story later on. So let's go ahead and we're going to read Genesis chapter 50, verse 1 to 14. Then Joseph fell on his father's face and wept over him and kissed him. And Joseph commanded his servants, the physicians, to embalm his father. So the physicians embalmed Israel. Forty days were required for him, for such are the days required for those who are embalmed. And the Egyptians mourned for him seventy days. And when the days of his mourning were past, Joseph spoke to the household of Pharaoh, saying, If now I have found favor in your eyes, please speak in the hearing of Pharaoh, saying, My father made me swear, saying, Behold, I am dying in my grave, which I dug for myself in the land of Canaan. There you shall bury me. Now, therefore, please let me go up and bury my father, and I will come back. And Pharaoh said, Go up and bury your father, as he made you swear. So Joseph went up to bury his father, and with him went up all the servants of Pharaoh, the elders of his house, and all the elders of the land of Egypt, as well as all the house of Joseph, his brothers, and his father's house. Only little, little ones, their flocks, and their herds they left in the land of Goshen. And there went up with him both chariots and horsemen, and it was a very great gathering. Then they came to the threshing floor of Atad, which is beyond the Jordan, and they mourned there with a great and very solemn lamentation. He observed seven days of mourning for his father, and when the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, saw the mourning at the threshing floor of Atad, they said, This is a deep mourning of the Egyptians. Therefore its name was called Abel Mizram, which is beyond the Jordan. So his sons did for him just as he had commanded them. For his sons carried him to the land of Canaan, and buried him in the care of the field of Machpelah before Mamre, which Abraham bought with the field from Ephron the Hittite, as property for a burial place. And after he had buried his father, Joseph returned to Egypt, he and his brothers, and all who went up with him to bury his father. May God bless the reading of his word. May God bless you. Bye.